Baker Mayfield took to Instagram because um, a lot of people mm -hmm. um, have have been talking, and here is uh, the post, uh, basically saying people forgot how I got here, you know, and winning is the bottom line. Um, he's also crediting the group, and it's it's more of what you expect. Um, hey, if this is a rallying point for him, if this is something that's going to motivate him, more power to him. Bottom line is he seems to always find a way um, when you count him out to get back up and get it done. So I, I wouldn't be surprised at all if this is the week when uh, the Browns need Baker Mayfield to do something that he goes ahead and does it. I wouldn't either. I find it interesting that in a week where Baker comes out and has a he, – he had a four game. They won. Pete had a four game, and he said that that he comes out on Instagram and puts out something like that. And then the next morning, Ian Rappaport gets a, you know, an injury update that we haven't seen anywhere else. The, the timing seems a little weird. Certainly doesn't seem like stuff that would come from the Browns and Baker's thing really didn't. And I don't know if it matters where it came from, but it does put Baker's situation in a different light. Just before we got going here, I was checking out a, a website and on the, the front page, it just said, Baker Mayfield playing through serious injury. Well, that changes the thought of Baker Mayfield played a crummy game, doesn't it? And if, if anybody in, in Baker's uh, camp did that, well, okay, fine. Bottom line is, and again, they're three and one and they've won three straight. Yeah. And he's been the quarterback on the field for all of that. Yeah. And so we'll, we'll see moving forward. And again, as long as it's not going to do long term damage, you, you leave them in there yeah. for because this team rallies around them. That's that's the one thing.